Welcome Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. <clears throat> this is your business reading for the month of February. Um, let's see what is coming up. So you come in trying to get some sort of information, which is very good. Um, you are really standing um, in this month trying to get some sort of a um, communication going. And this is good. A lot of you Pisces that have businesses and that sort of a situation is going to be looking for a new business venture in this period. So this is wonderful. Um, a lot of you could be open for communication, is trying to open up some sort of a communication link. And this is going to be good. So a wonderful alignment of energy. You could be looking for work, applying for new jobs. Uh, and uh, trying to figure out uh, um, the direction to take in your life. Uh, and this is uh, going to be positive. So whenever um, the Page of Swords is always about communication. And I see communication is going to be good in this month. Whatever direction you choose to make and take Pisces, the communication is going to be extremely good. People are going to be understanding. People are going to be... Um, if you're building a website, if you have a website, if you are <clears throat> in meetings, um, it is going to be good. Then when we look at the first week, the energy of the magician is here in the first week. It's a positive alignment of energy. The energy of the magician is uh, aligning you um, up for some sort of a new opportunities that is going to be coming in. So um, this uh, um, period is going to be very good. Um, depending on what you're looking for and what you expect to get out of this uh, quarter, it is going to be a good quarter where you're going to be recognizing um, what it is that you have been searching for and how you are going to be creating your own wealth by recognizing <clears throat> the part to go uh, towards and this is going to be good. So, um, whatever communication is coming up in the first week, it is going to be good. Um, it is going to be clear communication. You are having um, the time of your life, uh, especially in the first week where communication is going to be it in the chart. You're going to be letting people be aware and uh, know what it is that you're looking for. Um, the action of uh, who you are, you're going to be using the sword in order to communicate very clearly. And with the energy of the magician, which is Mercury, is going to be helping you to do that correctly. So it is um it is good um um coming in this month. Um it is really um positive because what we are recognizing is that as you use the energy of the magician, it is Mercury. So that is um so powerful, that is so good. That is really going to be aligning you in all in the proper direction moving forward. Then we have the energy of Capricorn um, in Mars in Capricorn in the second week. So the energy of Mars in Capricorn in the second week, um, it is in reverse. Okay. Um, what is transpiring is that there is going to be some sort of a technology problem. Some of you could be learning something um, technology-wise, um, researching knowledge and finding out uh, things about technology that you are not aware. Um, you could be building uh, something that has to do with technology, website, that sort of a situation, or you're an ET person. Um, but um, it's as if you are finding yourself out and you are um, resolving some sort of a technology situation. It could be the breakdown of a computer. So um, the breakdown of your network, that sort of a thing. So be aware of this because there could be um, some of that sort of energy that is going to be coming up where um, problems with network, problems with um, uh, your network. So be aware of it. So if you work as a, te a technology person, um, if you are an ET person and that sort of a thing, there is going to be some sort of a problem that is going to be arise. So expect a, a whole lot of work 
um, in the second week in order to get back some sort of a network on online. Okay, so be aware. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of you in the third week is going to be um, creating your um, business. Okay, a lot of you are going to be thinking to um, start um, creating your business and how you're going to be doing this is uh, the seven of pentacles is saturn in taurus so, so you are going to definitely definitely be thinking of being your own entrepreneur and this is going to be good so <clears throat> were you in loan deans and uh, your contract was not uh, um honored um here we are having that uh, um you are going to be thinking about going um to work for yourself because you recognize that that is going to be um the best direction because whenever um we have saturn um in taurus this is about you recognizing that you're going to be making some sort of a um shake up or some sort of a uh, shake up in your world you're going to be looking at people who are productive and people who are not performing at an higher level in order to make some sort of a changes so um capricorn um pisces bosses uh, um bosses and managers in the third week you're going to be really looking at uh, your team and looking at people in your team and seeing the ones who are missing some sort of a skills and knowledge and the ones who are not performing at the level that you would like them to perform. And I see that you are going to be um, doing something in order to recognize and make some sort of a changes in your team or in your company. So I see a lot of you Pisces in the third week is recognizing you know, I'm not, um, you know, I don't have the right team around me. Um, so whatever is transparent is as if you're recognizing, I need to get people on my side. I need to get the right individuals in order to perform the service that I need. And I see that you are going to be recognizing this in the third week that you don't have the right people around you or you're not connected to the, the right wor workforce. So I see that this is going to be coming up for you, um, Pisces, in the third week. In the fourth week, I see that you, um, a businessman, um, is dealing with another uh, person. This person um, is coming up and looking as if it's a cancer man. And I see whatever um, that was going on, um, this cancer man was creating some sort of an issues for you, Pisces. Well, this cancer man is whether or not uh, you are connected to this person or you ever um, was in some sort of a team working with this person. This person, this cancer man is the one that has been blocking um, some sort of a, and creating some sort of a problem for your network, okay? So if you have a business and you're having problems, uh, um, with your network, it is, um, a, 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 a cancer man who is blocking your system. Whoever this cancer man is and whatever is transpiring, you, um, Pisces are going to be recognizing. It's as if something is going to be transpiring where they are going to be removing this person, okay? Um, so it's as if they remove this person, suddenly something that was given, some sort of a technique problems are now being recognized and is now being balanced because uh, they recognize that this person has been on your network for quite some time and was creating a lot of issues and problems. And now they are recognizing um, that this person is the one that has caused all these internet uh, problems that you were having and you're going to be really flushing this person off uh, and understanding that you need to um to protect your system much better um materialistic stability um this is the empress what is crowning um your month pisces uh, um is the energy of the empress and the empress uh, um is um a woman with higher wisdom and knowledge whether this woman is this woman has a lot of higher wisdom and knowledge 
and is understanding. Um, you know, this woman looks beyond um, the, the mundane world and look um, towards the future. And I see um, this lady is going to be, um, if this lady is your boss I, or you were in a network with this person, I see that um, this person has uh, um, uh, 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 pull their self inwards. You can't connect with this person anymore. Something that was said or something something went wrong between the communication of uh, you and this person and this person has uh, closed themselves off to you. Um, whatever what that was said um, when, within a meeting or some sort of a conversation, um, this person just really closed themselves off to you. This person recognize that they don't they no longer want to communicate with you or no longer want to work with you is as if uh, um they feel as if you are overgone in their boundaries and their and, and 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 they are taking their energy or their power back so if you were collaborating with this person this person is going to be stepping back and uh, um you you, you're going to be stunted by what is going on. So let's say you are in a team or you have to work as a team with this person. This person is closing themselves off um, because of some sort of a info, something you said that made this person step back and put on a, uh, a, um, it's as if they, 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 they take themselves back in a shell and, and, and move themselves away from the communication that is coming at you so um you, you know you could be trying to communicate with this person and this person has a uh, um um re regenerate himself in um focusing on something else and it's as if they're thinking um you should recognize the way you communicate with people Whatever is transpiring, it's as if this this person recognized your communication skill is not good. Um, the way you um represent or present um situation is not good, and they're recognizing that uh, um they are being all back because of you. And I see that you're trying to um you know, heal this situation. You're trying to bring back this connection or network online, but, uh, and you're offering this person something, but this person, um, or you is not open for the communication. So, uh, whatever it is, it could be, have been a meeting that some of you said something out of place. Some of you, um, made some sort of a comment. And because of the comment that you have made, I see that a person, has blocked themselves um, from you and it's as if ignoring you totally and you're wondering yeah yeah what's wrong with this person um, go back and think at what you had said and how you uh, could have uh, caused another person emotional pain by something you have said maybe um, you know you should recognize the way you communicate with people because I see that communication problems sometimes with you um, Pisces is what uh, makes you lose a lot of business. Um, you know, it's good to be um, open and clear, but uh, you need to recognize when you are um, hurting someone else's feeling, okay? And I, I see that this is a situation that sometimes you Pisces are not aware of this. So, and you think that, well, I say what I had to say and you know what it is it is what it is but for you this can make you lose um someone who you could work with uh someone who um uh you could recognize a uh, with someone who you could um create some sort of a positive mess with is going to be you know removing themselves uh, from you because of some sort of a 
communication that you did. So life is full of surprises, Pisces. Um, life is really full of surprises and this is going to be led you uh, to recognize uh, that some sort of a change is about to, to come up on you. All right, so Pisces, um, I see some of you um, will be offered some sort of assistant um, because people are now recognizing um, what was happening, what was transpiring. So they're going to be assisting you um, in some sort of a manner. So um, that is what it is, what it is, Pisces. I can't say anything else. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. If not, um, um, we will see each other in the bi-monthlies. Namaste.